In today's episode, we will finally leave the Rio Dosa and make it to the sea. Not without its difficulties though, as entering the sea became a nightmare for the captain. Same as a car or a house, every boat needs regular maintenance to look bright and shiny, to last longer and to be protected. It is exposed to hard conditions such as sunlight, rain and salt water. Our boat is made of fiberglass with a layer of gel coat on top. It needs to be polished and waxed. The weathered wood on the deck has a lot of exposure too, so it's good to clean, sand and stain it regularly. We have decided to hire a couple of local guys for this job. The labor is cheap in Guatemala and they know what they're doing. So, today has not been a good day on Lira Astra. <laughs> there is a problem with the toilet, which got blocked. Uh, Dan has been really angry. And he, he's been, he's been cursing around. He's been throwing things around. I uh, don't know him like this, and I had to stay away from him. On top of that, he spilled paint all over uh, the covers. I stayed quiet, cleaned it up. And looks like he's starting to smile and, and joke about it again, so yeah. going really hard because the anchor has been setting for a week in mud. So we're going to be cleaning the anchor as we're sailing. Baby tell me if the anchor is hitting the boat. We don't want it to hit the boat. We're going to the gas station. I'm gonna back into the gas station. Hola, tiene agua? Okay. Oh, oops.
The Rio Dulce, or the Sweet River, is the gateway to the Caribbean Sea. On the east side, in a small town called Livingston, it flows to the Amatic Bay in the Caribbean Sea. Just before it reaches the sea, the river is deep and winds its way for six miles in a spectacular canyon. You are in for the most stunning natural beauty. The cliffs, covered with tropical trees, rise up to 300 feet on both sides. You can spot wildflowers, howler monkeys, toucans, and cooperatively hunting pelicans. Beautiful riverfront mansions with million dollar speedboats contrast with Mayans in small traditional canoes paddling and fishing around. The boat ride through the canyon makes you feel like you are in a rainforest. Today we will enter the sea, we will check out, we will enter the sea. And it's gonna be the quite moment I've been waiting for. Why? I'm starting to feel the sea air, like fresh. Fresh. Kind of like salt. Yeah. Livingston lies at the mouth of Rio Dulce. It is located on a forested peninsula and is completely cut off from the rest of Guatemala. There are no roads or rail connections. The only way in or out is by boat. Prior to the construction of nearby Porto Barrios, Livingston used to be the main Guatemalan port in Caribbean. While walking in the town you soon realize that Livingston is completely different to the rest of the country. You notice an unusual mix of people and culture, such as Carifuna, Latinos, Mayans and Gringos. This is the local laundry and they have a big pool of water and then little sinks where they wash and that one, she has a baby in one hand and then she was washing with the other hand. There is a white sandbar where the Rio Dulce meets the sea. The shallow spot is about 5.5 feet at low tide. So sailors with boats with bigger drafts have to wait for high tide if they want to cross the entrance without getting grounded in the mud. Since our draft is two meters or six feet, we had to hire a couple of local guides with tow boats to pull us forward while leaning the boat to one side. So two boats are needed for this maneuver. One will pull us forward, while the second will lean us to one side. I feel the ner nervousness, nervosity. It's mainly because I don't like Lira to get scratched, you know? Like, we're gonna pull through, it's fine, but I wanna pull through without scratching the bottom because we just had it painted. Yeah. Spent so much money on yeah. painting. And, uh, and if they don't do it right, if they don't pull quite right, it's gonna settle and scratch in the sand. The first time I did this, it was horrible. I was freaking out, I didn't know what to expect. And of course, I had the wrong guys. They were just on this dinky boat and they were dragging me into the shallows. It was horrible. And how did it end? <laughs> uh, the Navy actually came out. And <laughs> you got stuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
slowly. How do we know it's the end? I think he just knows the right, right path. Wow, maybe he won't need to uh, bend us too much in the end. Maybe. So far it has been really good. The segment is still in front of us. The worst segment, right? The worst one, yeah. Okay. was not good Yet another adventure behind us It didn't go as planned and our newly painted keel got scratched The captain was a bit disappointed, but hey, we managed and are ready for our upcoming journey. Thanks a million for watching and make sure to subscribe! It's completely destroyed. <laughs>